There is no place on the planet like Galapagos. They're volcanic in origin. They arose from the sea. They're surrounded by more than 600 miles of open ocean to the closest landmass. There are more species endemic there, unique to that island group than any other island group in the world. And the uniqueness applies to life both above and below the surface of the sea. When I first arrived in the Galapagos as a deckhand on a sailboat in 1975, I was astounded with the abundance of life, the fearlessness of the animals. Like so many other naturalists before me, it changed my life. When Charles Darwin referred to the Galapagos as a living laboratory of evolution, he recognized that these islands are special and they deserve special attention. The Galapagos comprise a very fragile ecosystem. They're surrounded by water. The life forms that evolved there and become endemic or unique to the archipelago are very vulnerable. Any organisms that are introduced, whether the plants or animals, have a dramatic impact on the way the ecosystem functions. Equally below the surface of the sea, the exploitation of the fisheries and organisms like sharks have been a serious concern for many decades. I recognize that the problems there are serious, but fortunately there are some very good organizations in place in the islands that are Ecuadorian operated. That's the National Park Service and the Charles Darwin Research Station. Sea Shepherd has played a very important role as an advisor to these two organizations. By providing legal advice, Sea Shepherd is supporting the Ecuadorian government's need to enforce regulations to make sure that violators are properly prosecuted. This is finally beginning to happen thanks to Sea Shepherd. As human population increases, our demand for protein from the sea increases. And sadly, our oceans are being depleted. The only resources that we have to protect this biodiversity is to set aside marine sanctuaries. But we also need means of patrolling, of overseeing what is happening in the world's ocean in order to protect biodiversity. Our planet, our biosphere, is at a tipping point. We are losing species daily. Today we know that the stability of an ecosystem, whether it's a farm pond or an agricultural crop or an ocean, we know that the more species that are present, the more stable that ecosystem is. We need more protected areas, more marine sanctuaries, and we need organizations like Sea Shepherd to determine and observe what is happening in these vast areas of open ocean.